Good evening everybody hello 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 and welcome to the stream and um, we're on to episode four i believe of siberia and we're in hunt of a russian singer um so we can get oscar his hands back um so yeah that's where we are i hope you are doing really really well um sorry for the sort of late stream um on the basis that i've been away um so yeah i've trying to catch up on things at the moment so that's why there's the streams a little bit on the delayed side because it's meant to be on a monday and it's today tuesday um but i'm hoping you guys can um forgive me and enjoy the stream anyway so yeah we'll get um into the game um and see how we get on hopefully um hopefully well um been stuck a few times um i thank the chat for the last time because um yeah you kind of gave me a good nudge to get me on through um so let's see how we get on today I always have to familiarise myself with my switch pad because it's like, yeah, I always get kind of, kind of confused as to where we are. <laughs> but hey, we're back, we're back. Yes, we've just gone through the monorail, so we're kind of in this weird area. I can't see anything here that really looks like we can interact with it. That uh, looks like to be an invisible wall there. 
I'm guessing stairs, stairs, or stairs. We'll go up the stairs. There we go, up the stairs. A looks like a rocket, but it's not, I don't think. Well, there's a birdie. Oh, I'm so bird. Not like a bomb, I'm not peck, peck my ears out. Oh, there's something That's here. Going to work. It looks like something's missing. Uh, I doubt any of this stuff will interact with it. Work. Not that then. Uh, that's going to... no, okay, so that's fine. We haven't got what we need for that just yet. I wouldn't suspect. Oh, what's that? Uh, letter. So... She's looking at something down there then, but I don't think I can see anything she's interacting with, so no. Okay, we'll head this way. Can I head that way? Oh, okay. That's seriously all I can do? She's sort of looking down here, but I can't think what she's looking at. Ship in the background. Hmm, okay, well, um, I can't head this way. I guess down again. Okay. Um, hoping somewhere over here. If there's something down there I can interact with. Looks like a build. Uh, maybe that's just back into the um, monorail, I guess. Um, ah, something here. Right, okay. Will this any of this work? I need a key. All right, so I need a key, which I don't think I have. Oh, these bears are going to drive me absolutely mental. So, that be the game crashing. Let's try again. There's so many things wrong. The game gave up on me. Yeah, don't shut don't do that when the game does that well as long as the game doesn't crash on me we're okay then so we haven't lost much progress thankfully so back to where we were a second ago hopefully the game won't crash this time so in here i think here we go hello Beach this weird dude excuse me sir Sorry to oh, I'm sure they mentioned who this you? person was. Can you hear me? Three, two, one, contact, and we have left off. Oh, holy mother, a dame, a, a pretty dame on the launch pad. Uh, please, no need to worry, sir. Just do stay calm. I, I just want some information. <laughs> it's a woman. <laughs> stay calm, stay calm. Stay calm. We ain't got no information, no strategies, no plans to tell anyone anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Military regulations, you dig it, man? <laughs> okay, let's just uh, talk please. about the mission, I guess. Can you try and get a grip? I must absolutely find a way out of this industrial complex. Jeez, me too. I've really got to get out of this dump, but not before I've had a little drink. Here, yeah. get your pretty little lips around this. Vodka! Tell me what you think. Do you have a vehicle to lend me? I think I'd even test one of your rockets right now if I had to. Toast my rockets? Hey, pretty dame, I'll drink to that. Now, just a minute. We gotta need a special bottle for this special occasion. Something to blow you away. Three, two, one, contact, and we have liftoff. He's a bit okay, nuts. that's enough. What was that? And did you say something? Our... Are female comrades revolting the what? <laughs> uh oh, trouble on its way. Bottoms up. Right. Everyone's us. revolting. Everyone's revolting. I heard that maybe you could lend me a vehicle or something. A vehicle? <laughs> All our vehicles were picked up and shipped out to the borders years ago. General's orders. I say, let us raise our glass to this finest soldier this country's ever known, little lady. I don't mean to offend you, but I'm not in the mood for a drink right now. And you'll live to regret it to your dying day, sweetheart. To your health. 
While you have it. Okay, so basically he's sort of telling me nothing useful, I don't I need or, to get to Owl bad. You go ahead, soldier. I'll stay here and keep you covered. I got the supplies here. I got to keep an eye on them. Tricky job, too, you know? All these bottles. Right, so he's officially no use to man the base. To... Right, okay, that's fine. Forget it, it doesn't matter. He's too drunk to help anyone anyway. I am not drunk. I have drunk. A little. <laughs> Thank you, my man. Thank you so very much. Got some vodka. Strange. Sure, I left a bottle and two around here. I gotta get some air. Walls getting pretty tight. He'll think about that blast off later, huh? Are you okay, Colonel? Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, he looks fine. Nothing wrong with him. I don't know how he's managed to sit. Don't lean out too far, or you'll. Oh well, you know, minor problem. Is there anything else in here I can pilfer while I'm about? I'm on a robbing mission. Hoping I can find the key, but oh, something here. Right, here we go. Uh, oh, key. Have key. We have letters. Well, look at it. From Colesgrad Cosmodrome, the Prototype Program Management Committee. Pro Program XP25, the Vorlberg Spring Loaded Launch Pad Project. So again, it looks like Hans had another um, hand in this, whatever this was. So, comrades. Subsequent to our inspections over the last year, our comrades of the Government Space Commission have reached an unfavorable conclusion concerning the Vorlberg Project. Here are their findings. The Space Commission is convinced that Hans Borrelberg's research will yield no concrete results are capable of serving the military interests of our country or advancing its space program. It is considered that this project will only be bring ridicule to our country and give a very poor image of our national space industry abroad. During the last few years, in a long succession of fruitless attempts, Comrade Vorlberg has clearly demonstrated the limits to his knowledge of mechanical sciences. Consequently, we have ordered the irrevocable suspension of the program. It's been deemed counter-revolutionary, and we now withdraw all collaboration with Comrade Vorlberg. This decision has been approved by the Supreme Soviet, who adopted with a clear majority the Central Committee Directive of April 15, relating to the definitive cancellation of the Vorlberg spring-loaded launch pad project. The directive announces the provisional closure of the um, Konkolzak Grad Cosmodrome and reassignment of vulnerable project test pilots to their domains. 1979. Which is well after the um, after the moon landings, wasn't it? 79. So, can't say that was um, yeah, particularly um, useful for them winning the space race. Unless they thought figured it would be a cheap way of getting people to the moon. I guess that's probably what they thought. Right, can I do anything with this then? So I've got a key now. Um Right up. God, this thing's jet. God, this thing's jet. Oh, God's sake. If that's going to work. God, this thing's jet. Right, okay, so we're not getting anywhere here. So let's head back down again. See if we can get him out of this little. out of this thing and maybe we can uh, go from there. Oh, maybe we'll just do something. That sounded like we did something. Can't go that way. I can go this way, although I don't think I want to just yet. That looks like a future endeavour. Right, that probably may be the hydraulics that I've just turned on, so that might work now. 
Let's try again. Uh, I wanted that one, I think. Right, okay, if I move him then into that position. Okay, and I think I now want up. And then... Ooh, I don't know. Down or up? There you go, that's some success. Hey, what's happening? There's water you got there, stop it! Ow! You want me to drown? Right, so can I speak to him now and will he be now be sober enough to actually help me? I'd like to hope, but I doubt it. Calm down, it's alright. Just a little wake-up call, that's all. You must have had quite a bit to drink. Gee, you right there. Not the first time either. Probably won't be the last. My head. Please, could you whisper? Please do excuse me. But it was the only way I could think of to bring you back to your senses. You must have a colossal headache from the landing on it. I get the impression you're a lady who likes to see results. Right, let's find games too now. Train, but unfortunately, it broke down. I've got to get to Arrowbad immediately. Someone told me you might have a vehicle to lend me. Someone? Who might that someone be? I hope you're not talking about Sergei Borodin. Well, yes, I am. The director of the industrial complex below. Be careful, ma'am. He is not a rational man. He can be mean and very dangerous. He suggested I come and see you, actually. But I get the impression that he doesn't care much for you, either. I don't care what he thinks of me. All I say to you is, watch out for it. Oh, why is my phone disconnected? Okay. There aren't many vehicles on this base. When they decided to close the Cosmodrome, they towed all the useful equipment away. It doesn't matter. I'll find some other way. If I can help you, please, just ask. On a vehicle! Does Arrowbad mean anything to you? Arrowbad? It's been a long time since I heard that name. It's a spa resort, man. Top brass of the regime would go there. Those birds are really annoying. As well as convalescing soldiers, tired politicians, profiteers and rackers, the whole caboodle. They'd go live it up, all expenses paid. One privilege I never got. Just two steps away from becoming the nation's hero, and no free holiday for me. And where exactly is this place? Further east. We never had to know where exactly. The airship was programmed to take vacations there. Ah, there we go. From here. Right, okay. There aren't many vehicles on this base. When they decided to close the Cosmodrome, they towed all the useful equipment away. It doesn't matter. I'll find some other way. If I can help you, please. Right, I think we want the airship then, by the sound I of it. Came here by train, but I'm... Someone. Who... Well. Are you see what he said? One second. He suggested I come and see you. I don't care what he thinks of me. Right. right I said. Uh, Does... Yeah, I was going to say. I think we're going to have and the same problem it? again. Further east. It sounds like the. It sounds Thank like. You so much for helping me. Been great talking to you, ma'am. Yeah, I think the airship's the way we need to go. I think I'll take 40 winks right now. Right, let's try this way then, see if I can figure out where I need to go. God only knows. Okay, there's something up here then. Oh, I can interact with this thing. Let's try these stairs over here. Come on, there's something I can. Okay, let's have a look at it. I'm gonna need a key again, aren't I? Got the Warlberg key. God, this thing's jam. God, this thing's.
Ah, okay. Aha, 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 aha. Unauthorized procedure. Um, centrifuge empty. Blood sample required. Blood procedure. Procedure. Blood testing upward. Looks like I need to get a blood sample. That's weird. Do I need to? I mean, I can't. I doubt I can use it on me. Can I use it on him? I figure I must have to use it. That turns that on or off. Let's see if I can. I need, I'm, I'm gonna have to get blood on it because I'm not gonna to use my own blood. Is that way too easy? Looking at something there, I don't see. Sort of looking at the stairs. Unless I can come this way more. I work on the assumption that I can't. Um, this way? Loads of birds about. Bloody noisy. There's more stairs over there. I'll work on the assumption I need to go stairs. Here we go. That door is locked. Certainly not gonna have a key. It's gonna still be locked. That door is locked. I'm breaking. Door is locked. I can't do anything with the door just yet. I probably need to get. He's going to have to give me a key, isn't he, to get in, me in there? Can I get any more information from him now? I get a blood sample from him. Oh, no. Yeah, stab, stab him with a screwdriver, then, then you can take his blood. Still works? No idea. It's been so long since it was used. I wouldn't go in death trap. Learn how to use it too. You won't have any worries there. It has an automatic pilot. Go visit if you want. Here's the key. Ah, there we go. So we've now got the key. Thanks. I came here by train. Oh, okay. Somewhere. I was doing the same conversation. Well, I was wondering whether I could ask him for his blood. I don't care what he. I want to assert your blood. When they decide, it doesn't matter. If I can help you, right, so, I'm off. Don't you worry about. We've now got the key. Come up, birds. It's all right, is it? Right, so key. Arm door. Rust bucket, anyway. Oh, so I've got an automaton on it. Doesn't look like that works. Doesn't look like that works. Doesn't look like yes, I'm just trying things. You're gonna keep saying it doesn't work. Yes. Doesn't look like. See anything relevant though? It's probably going to need to be charged up. I need to go and talk to him again and see if he might have more information about how to get it started. Possibly. Before we go, come on, Kate. Oh, hello, where's he gone? Come back, come back. Yes. 
not there then. Right, let's work on the assumption that he's been clever and he's gone to where I need him to be. Which is going to be um, on that top section where um, I need a blood sample. Hope he's over there. Probably won't be. Ah, here he is. Sort of right. Sort of in the vicinity of where I wanted him. There you are. I was looking for you. I've managed to trigger the autopilot mechanism, but the airship still won't take off. Do you know why? Maybe. I've got a, some idea. But you look like you're a pretty good mechanic. Yeah, she just has this look about her being a good mechanic. Journey, I've managed to get by and get to know Hans Varlberg's strange contraptions. Okay. I have a deal to make with you. I've been living in this dumb launcher site for years. And I've always said that one of these days I'm going to the stars on that flying wing. And I'd better make that trip before vodka stews my brain. But I gotta know how it works. And you look like wow, okay, I'm gonna have, have no clues. idea. If you could help me get to the stars, I'll tell you how the airship works. What do you say? We got a deal. Mm, why not? I'll see what I can do for you. Right, can I do something with this blood? Boris, I need a few drops of your blood. Excuse give me your give me your wrists. To get the centrifuge going, we'll need to analyze the pilot's blood. If you're going to the stars, you've got to be in good health, you see? That's why I need a blood sample. It won't hurt. There's two things a good soldier is it's, always ready to do. He's a big knife. Won't hurt you at all. You'll be fly. fine. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll only be needing your blood. My pleasure, man. Ow! Ah, you big wuss. It's a pinprick. Right, let's see if I can get the centrifuge working now, then. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Let's on for a few alcohol over too high. Oh. Have we just broken it? Oh, okay. Okay, I think I figured out how it works. Get settled in and let's go. Okay. Are you all right? Never been better. Uh, it's spinning a bit, but I am used to that. I'm a professional pilot. Yeah, you look like a professional pirate. You're in good time. Smog. Can you speak up? I'm ready. Press the launch button. You're meant to give me information first. Takeoff procedure engaged. Countdown commencing. Colonel, you've forgotten to tell me the secret of the airship. What do I have to do? Okay, we need to crank it. Fair enough. That's so obvious. I would not be getting in that thing. Hi, comrade. Nice knowing you. It'll go about three feet. Oh, Skull! Welcome, welcome! Thank you very much for the raid. Hope you're doing really well and hope welcome to the stream. 
How was your stream? Unfortunately, my um, auto shout out things, yeah, gonna play up again. So um, I apologise about that. <laughs> I need to fix it. I need to fix it. It's on my list. And you are playing retro. What did, what did you will eat? What did you eat? What, what you will eat? At Skull Raid. Good for making sentence. How are you, Skull? How are you? Thank you very much for dropping by. So what retro game were you playing? Because all, all I've got it saying is retro. Oh, where the smeg is that crank thing I've got? Somewhere around here, isn't it? Give me on light when you want it. It's here, it's here. Dropped the crank, but I have no idea where he dropped it. Yeah, it's one of the one of the things I like about my um, my shout out thing is it does automatically play a clip, which I think is quite cute, quite cool. I'll just check it's not over this side in the case it's the other side of the platform. Let's see it there. The next big thing. Okay. Can you can you explain to me what the next big thing is, apart from yourself? <laughs> That's what that deserves a yeah, my wonderful sense of humour. Where the fudge is this thing gonna be? Drop the crank, which I haven't got, no, I haven't picked it up. So it's gotta be somewhere around here. Is that it? That oh. um, it's a point and click, and 2011 from Pendula Studio. Cool. Okay. I may have to have a look. I love point and click games. Although I'm having to play a point and click game on my Nintendo Switch. So um, yes. I know I get, I get a lot of um, people sort of not very happy with the fact that I'm having to use a console to play a point and click adventure, but hey. Needs must and all that. Oh, smacking her, where the hell is this blooming crank gonna be? Some of the puzzles are really hard. I like, I like, I like that. Um, and this is not easy too. Well, yeah, some of it's more difficult when you're as bad as me at gaming. Um, oh, he threw the crank down. I know he threw the crank down. So it's got to be somewhere around, but I can't figure out where he dropped it. I think it's over. I'm sure it's over this side. I'm not seemingly looking at anything. It's almost she looks, sort of looks in its rough direction, but she hasn't yet. This is where I need it. Need it little, little, like I said, little neon light or a little glint on the screen to show me where it is. I'm gonna do some walking so I don't walk past it again. I'm gonna look at it. Come on. Tell me where it is. Let's just see if it's not here in this set of this bit when I go here. No. Oh my god. I can't go over there, so it's not there. Truth. Right. 
Can I get round anywhere else, or am I stuck in this area here? That way, can't go that way by the look of it. Press the right at all? No. I don't need to do that again. No. I'm hoping you might look out the window and give me an idea of where the hell I need to look for this crank. Oh. Okay, you just would have thought it would have been quite obvious where it was, you could go and get it. But no, I'm not going to be able to see it. Definitely, to he's definitely tossed it on the floor. So it's only, it's got to be on the floor somewhere. But the question is, whereabouts on the floor is it? I'm positive, I'm absolutely positive he threw a crank he threw a crank on the floor. Absolutely positive he did. I don't think I haven't got the cranks, so it's not gonna be in here. Doesn't look like that Yeah, so I don't think Crank's gotta be out here outside somewhere. Where did that crank go? Well, welcome to the stream, Raiders. Um, appreciate you being here. Um, sorry I'm so inept. Um, he, threw the, he threw the crank down when he was on the sort of platform shippy bit. But I don't know where it was. He didn't really give me a frame of reference, I don't think. Um, can I... Is there a... Video, but I can go back and watch the videos again. Display options. Where things are. Right. Come on, Crank. Where are you? I'm sort of thinking it says it on this platform a bit, but it won't let me get up there and get it on there. That's truth. Where is the damn thing? That's some blind as a bat, which is also a possibility. Oh, thanks, Spike. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you for the lurk. Hope you're doing well. I am stark. I am stark. Be here for hours looking for the gosh darn Frank. I honestly have no idea. I can't go anywhere else. She is not helping me locate this thing. I don't think it's back here, but I'm going to have a look. all the way down the bottom, did he? Doubt it, but I'll have a look again. I'm, gonna have to, I'm just going to have to look to see whether that's where it ended up. That's what she said. Oh, thank you for dropping by, Mrs. Matt. Thank you for popping in. I'm hoping I'm going to have a good stream too, if I can find where this blooming crank is.
Oh, it went all this way, this far down, so I don't think... Right, we'll work on the assumption it didn't then. This is mad, have you set fire to something? It smells, smells really bad. Have you set fire to lunch? It smells really, really strong down here. Trying to, she's trying to smoke me out, I think. If you see flames behind me, please let me know. Right, let's remain calm and figure out, see if I can figure out where the blooming crank is. Yes, yeah, so take the crank handle. Yes, I'd love to take the crank handle. If I knew where it's making was. I think it should be like in the middle somewhere. It should be quite easy to spot. Over there I can get to it. Just can't get I can't get my bearings as to where he was so I can pick this crank up. Ridiculous. Not the greatest time for the, this raid, these raiders to come in, you know. I appreciate you coming in, but this is really embarrassing. You've appeared when I'm basically stuck. Can't figure out where the crank is. Yeah, I saw him throw it down. Were you looking at something then? Just the stairs. Oh man. Um. Can anyone advise me roughly where it is? Like, is it in this area? Is it in the other on the other screen on the other side of this on the sort of central platform? I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm a bit lost. <sighs> this is frustrating because, like I said, I saw him throw it down, but it was kind of very nondescript location of where it actually is. Just breathe, just breathe. I won't rage too much. I say that, but... Um, I am kind of getting quite close to... Um, a bit of mat rage. Oh, right, okay. If this will help me. It doesn't, even this doesn't tell me where the blooming thing is. It's just before the colonel le leaves, the colonel will tell you how to get the airship working and will throw you the crank for the fog horn. Go past this makeshift so they have the home. That doesn't tell me where the, where the bloody thing is. Well, I'm good sort of saying that, um, yeah, that doesn't really doesn't help me. But yeah, that hasn't actually helped me quite yet. Oh, this one.
Right, so then go left. Right, okay, so it says go left, which is this way. And it's near the boxes, apparently. Just over here. Oh, oh no, she's looking at something. Hey, there we go, finally. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. I didn't want a lot. All I want, oh, that's all I needed. It's just that little bit. Oh, no. Why do these things have to be so tricky, everybody? Why? I just don't get it. Just to be awkward, eh? No, I can't get this to move. Okay. Oh, some progress, everybody. Some progress. Right, so now I know what I need to do. Okay. Um... I'm not sure if it's the right way to go. No, it's not. Somewhere this way, I think. Yeah, there's stairs over here. Nope. Oh. A good looking but a nice bird, an evil bird. I don't know. Doing something magical by the look of it. Attacking us. Death by bird. Okay. Um murdered a bird. I mean I can go in here now. know quite what that game got for me then. It sounds like it, it looks like it killed a bird. I'm not quite sure what I got gained from that fact, but hey. Without anything new around here. Looking for a corpse, I think. Scenery. Nothing there. Fine, so that that's not the right place to go. Main section over here then. God knows. Ultimately I need to go up. Here, so I'll see if there's anything up here. No, I don't think I did. Oh, hang on. Okay. How did that work? I don't. I don't, I don't get how the prank of the handle and the bird being murdered helped. Unless it's a, like a proximity thing, it won't fly unless there's, if there's birds too close to it. Hmm, or something. It's rough and away, everybody. This has got autopilot apparently, so this will take me to my destination. Place looks like it's seen better days as well. It's like a, this is like a spa retreat where, like, kind of like the um, the rich and the um, famous came back in the day. Certainly, probably a while ago. And we need to find Helena, I think it is. Oh. Mom again. Mr. Marson, we all do. Down on the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, 
I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very he doesn't seem to understand the, the, the complexity of the situation. I had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A priority numero uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it, too, when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results! Yes, Mr. Marson. He's so pleasant. We like him. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming I can go down that pathway over there, but, um... That is so beautiful. I'm going to assume I need to go in here first. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, ma'am. And welcome to the Hotel Kotsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with the sea view. Oh. Music's quite loud and the rest of it isn't. Um, lower the music volume a smidge. Just display or sound. Here we go. Let's just turn this down a smidge. Try that one because it was a wee bit on the noisy side of the music. To meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to um impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please, I absolutely must speak. With also, I think I'm assuming we've got important. to give the letters to you her. She might make it go. Oh, she liked the guy, and she wants to go back and see him. I don't know. Come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. But don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. Well, I can call the hotel. I want to meet someone. That's very inconvenient. Um, uh, if it. Um, I just realised I clicked that one. Oh. Sir, I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger. You hear? Okay. Um. I'll ask for Arabah, but I think it's going to get me now. Any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time, I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. So can... Is there anything over here that I can... That's good. Okay. Hmm. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Detergent. I wanted. I don't have too much detergent. I'm looking at. Ooh, I'm about. Let's see if I can... Can I be a real git and do this? I hate when people do this. They used to do this in a fountain in our city. It really annoyed me.
In your own good time. Not if we're in a hurry I'm or anything. Sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The time's a changing man, and we've had to introduce a security system. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. I can't tell him about the fountain, then. Okay. Um, the Edenor Hotel Group is a hotel chain with a long tradition. The first uh, Edenor was opened in Paris in 1928. Now we have prestigious hotels located in the historic centres of each European capital. Each establishment is unique in housing former palaces, mansions and stately homes. Restored to their former glory and converted into luxury apartments. Edenor Hotels are ideally located for capital city capital exploration. You may discover the beauty of a nation's architectural heritage while enjoying our high quality accommodation and first class service. Your total comfort is guaranteed. Stay in the uh, in an Edinor hotel would be much more than a stopover. The charm of its location with its period atmosphere will leave you with lasting and moving memories. Furthermore, our gourmet chefs are on hand to offer guests the finest of traditional cuisine from the host capital. We have 15 three to five star establishments to name spread throughout Europe. Ah, is that the number at the bottom corner? I think that might be the number at the bottom corner, maybe. Hotel brochure. Okay. Okay. How did that work? I'm ringing him again. Maybe he had to see it so that he could go. Ah, I'm running outside. Exactly like that. I'm assuming that sound, that sound effect as well. the bell again. Ooh, you good. again? You're beginning wow. to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Right, well, thankfully he's going to hopefully disappear. Means I can... Steal some stuff from behind the counter. Yep, yeah, the mop's gonna sort that out, no bother. Right, come on, Kate, let's get a shift on. Let's not just dawdle. Oh, Rob. Okay, let's have a look. Um, Elena Romansky, resident. 1270, I think it is. I think so. Yes, yeah, so it says here, um, Helena Romansky, resident 1270, appears to be the one. That's like can do. So. I don't need to do that again. It definitely looks like, yeah, 1270. Right, okay. Getting through these things, guys. 
Hogs and wheat. Him. Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, miss. James, the automaton nurse. It's a nurse. I am not a barman. I'm sorry. I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m., Madame Romansky takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Tea is served at 5 o'clock sharp. Is it possible to go see her? Yeah, she's on the pier, As you then, wish, but do pay attention to the salt wind. Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Not at this hour, miss. Madame will still be watching the sea at the end of the pier. So? I'm going Madam to the knows perfectly well that during this season I don't go down to the pier. My wheel work goes dicky under the double corrosive action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. No. So I'll stay here and make ready for Madame in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable, such violent swings of mood. Wonderful. Well, I'm going, James. Okay, let's see if we can go and find the pier then. It would be a pleasure to see you again, Miss. Right, is it this way? No idea. I'm sure that was right. Work. Just as I thought. I'm positive that was the right number. I was in the wrong place. Okay, temporary code o nine six eight. Okay. I'm assuming we want to go back the way we just came. Ugh. Okay. That wasn't. I wasn't ready to see that. Again. So it was O. Wonderful. What about now? Ugh, okay. That's not a great sign. Wear this thing so you can go on the pier. Wonderful pier. If that's going to work, it looks if that's going to hmm. That's going to work. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of. I don't think I've got anything for that. Yet. Hey, chaos siblings. How are you? How are you? Welcome in. Hope you are doing well. Had a bit of a moment where I couldn't find something. It really annoyed me. I'm not going to lie. Basically, there was a section where um, this guy threw down this crank, and it wasn't obvious where it ended up. You know where it was landing. So I was just like. Mm. Going to work. So yeah, I got a bit, I got a bit frustrated because I couldn't, I couldn't quite fathom um, what I needed to do at that point. But we figured it, we figured it out. Just get, I've got to get to Helen at the moment. I'm assuming it's this lady in here. I have no idea why we're all wearing these masks. Um, the mechanism looks really, really funky. Madam Romansky. Madam Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. We're going to get her I back so we can get the guy to give us back Reed. our hands. Oh, Marco Reed, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? 
Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbag. I'm American. A lawyer. Oh yeah, of course that Malkovich is sleeping with her mother. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left... I just remember I'm neglecting my duties. Oh, I'm playing my favourite game. Of course. I think we're gonna get some. Ready? Okay. I love how much all of your all of your clips are basically doggers. <laughs> Madam Romansky? So is James coming or isn't he? Don't tell me you haven't caught me yet. Please ring for my valet. We will continue this conversation inside. Hmm? Can I call Mum and find out if he can come? I don't know. Hi! Just finishing off a good facial. Be with you in a mo. Bright and fresh. Bye! And you're very welcome to the Chaos Siblings. You are very, very welcome. I don't think the ring in the hotel is going to help. I'll try. Um, yeah, if you were, um, if you want to catch some um, like a puzzle game, um, please go and jump into the Chaos Siblings stream. Um, they play quite a lot of stuff, and yeah, really good people to be around. Nice little community as well. Okay, so I need to go and get James. James. You think I had that phone before? Like an old Nokia. Or a new Nokia, because technically speaking, I don't think they ever age, do they? Nokia phones. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I never understood no Nokia phones had this sort of like ability to just basically be indestructible. It's crazy. I don't know what that does for me, but we'll find out in a minute. No point weighing myself down. Looking for like an extra from a Doctor Who movie. James, we James, need you, James. What are you waiting for? Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. The bell did indeed ring. But it is very windy outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty wind. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask to protect you against the salt, would that help? Oh, most certainly. Okay, so... Ooh. Well, he made a random noise, didn't he? So, he has got a dapper hat. Yet? This Helena person. What would she like? Does she remember Frank? Hi, Mom. Yeah, sure. I met her and, yes, yeah, she's living in Arlbad. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arlbad like? Maybe Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Maybe you're right. So, when are you coming home? Is that mission all over then? No, uh, it's barely Not begun. Really, Ma. I still haven't found the heir I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romansky's a kind of detour here. Listen, Munchkin, I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden path. Why don't you just come home, tell your boss this heir just doesn't exist, that you've done all you can, et voila. Because that would be a lie. Can call him for you? Ma, please, we don't lie, don't do we, chat? Looking for Hans Varlberg is what I'm being paid for. But I also just want to find him for myself. Honestly, you're just as stubborn as your father. Don't complain. I don't know, I think the mystery is quite interesting. Don't so I think worry, I can I understand I can understand why she kind of wants to see this through. Because yeah, I think the I think it's in an interesting um 
an interesting puzzle. Zavorobugs do seem like a very um, fascinating family. Why am I suddenly a barber? It's a real honor to meet you, Madame Romansky. People have told me so much about you. Mm. People still talk about me. Oh dear. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Were. Were. Ah, it still so is. I was, my dear. But surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. Hey, that's sort of explaining where we are. I'm case at the moment, and because of it, I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. <gasps> oh, a sad city indeed. <laughs> what am I saying? They all were. Madame Romansky, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him there, it would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. Faded and wan, like my heart. Oh, aren't you going a bit far there? I bet you've still got a great voice. Maybe we can sort of show oh, her the love and that will make her heart a bigger and she'll feel like it. My dear. I'm not senile yet, but I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror. And I can tell you, singing is something I did in the past. Madam Romansky, please understand, I would never have come so You're far. You're still to young at heart, I'm sure. Yeah, I agree. I, didn't I really agree. Need your help. I You're only as young dear, as the woman you feel. Why you, this is why I got a wife a few years younger than me. It makes me feel wonderful me, every day. No one is sadder than I. Ask what he happens. must have had a fantastic life. So exhilarating. Ah, much more than you could ever imagine. I used to sing the finest melodies of the moment in the most fantastic theatres around the world. I have been hailed by kings and courted by princes. Hello, Mrs. Grown Matt. men would sink to their knees when they heard the first notes of my recital. I haven't put a, um, a hello my command for hello. Crystal glass. Everything many else. Hearts. Many hearts. I'm not surprised. Hello, Zazu. Welcome, welcome. Then one day sickness steals away the gift life has given you. My voice started to betray me. I started to get. I think people said in the last time, last time I asked this question. They sent me but here to let this. Is this voice acting what was originally with the game, or is this something that they just added in like a later month, versions? Because the, the, the voice, the voice acting has been pretty solid through that. Longer, but you look so healthy to me. Oh, thank you, my dear. I'll let you get a bit of rest. Thank you for listening to me. It was a real pleasure, my child. You are a charming young lady, and simply talking to you has warmed my soul. Something, yes, I was going to say, there's something to look at. I think it's original acted. Sister will know. No point weighing myself down. No point weighing... So I can make a drink or something by the look of it. No point away. No point away. Okay, so I can't do anything with that just yet. I don't need to use this. Let's see if I can give letters. It's a real honor to meet you, Madame Romansky. People have told me so much about you. Mm. She's a veteran People Siberia player, and it, it is originally voice oh, acted. Dear. Of course. Ah. Uh, so that didn't work then. It was. A all the letters would work. Um, let's give us some vodka. That'll work. It's a real. Mm. Of course. Uh, I'll let you get a bit of. Eat. To. Hmm. Okay. I don't quite know what to do right here. Is 
says she feels old, but I'm like, hmm. Is there something I can do here? No point away. No point. So, let's head and touch these guys over here, maybe. We've got to be here for like, a reason, I'm assuming. I don't know. Done that bit. I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I think I can thrust with my queen through there. Unless. I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, no, no. Checking two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Nothing like a good conversation. From a bishop. Okay, I wouldn't like to disturb you any longer. Very helpful. I wonder how that works. Yeah, I figured that. Although graphically it hasn't done anything. I wonder how that works. Better to play a game of chess. Half naked, or maybe even naked with a friend. Yes, wonderful. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello. cleaner. Welcome, welcome. Hope you are well. Uh, so we just helped cleaner finish this game, and now we can watch the end. This ending again. So cool in two languages as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming. But Tina probably did it quicker and better than I am. Um, okay, so that's not going to help me. I don't think I want to head back out again, do I? So man's going to be back now, I should think. Yeah, it's just not going to be very happy with me. I saw this fountain out anyway. Doesn't matter about being quick or better, it's the, about the journey along the way. About me rage quitting, yep, yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs> ah, train station, so I'm assuming we get the train to come here then. Okay. Ah, uh, do we bring him to her? Is that what we need to do? We we bring the train here? That's obviously, that's how I can recharge the train. Obviously here I can recharge it. Right, okay. First time I hear the English voice act is so unfamiliar. The cleaner, what's um what is your native tongue? I'm assuming obviously not English. Wait till you hear Oscar cleaner. Yeah. Good German. Same with school when you hear the French voice, the French voice actors. That's one of the things I'd say about being, um, about being British is the fact that we, we're lazy. We're a very lazy, um, sort of, you know, nationality when it comes to languages. We tend to just. I don't need to use this. Um, it's a real we just, we just spoke, you know, you everything's in English now. So. People have told me so much about you. Such a cool international People community playing adventure games. Me. Oh dear. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. Ah. I'm gonna go ask this question again. Do um. Do the game? Do the games translate well into um, other other languages? Adventure gang. Because one of the things I mean, obviously, I said, like I said, because we're lazy, the British are lazy. Everything's English. We, you know, we go abroad and we just generally speak English, which is very lazy. It is very lazy. I try, I try to speak native tongues, um, at least a little bit, um, 
you got great great voice actors in Germany. Yeah, I imagine there must be fantastic ones um, globally. You know, there must be loads loads as well. Um, I was just wondering whether whether they translated well because obviously a lot of games I'm assuming are written for um, the British language, and so I don't know what they do to. Obviously, I know they sort of dub them, um, but yeah, whether they actually go the whole hog and actually re lip sync it and things like that, don't know. And true, I've spoken to quite some Brits about the language topic, and they just reply, "We are lazy. We are. We are amazingly lazy because we we can be, and that's the problem. We we honestly can can be lazy. Um, this is why I try. I try when I go away. I do try to speak a little bit. Um, the German voice actors for Siberia are amazing, in your opinion. Yeah, and I agree, Chaos siblings. Yeah, the thing you need to say at least please and thank you. Um, I try to, you know, lots of like uh, learn hello, goodbye, um, and things like that as well. And sometimes try and learn to to ask for some things. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going to embarrass myself, but I actually, I actually took German um, as a GCSE. Didn't do very well, but I did take German as a GCSE. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment, and because I don't want to butcher it, the language there. Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. <gasps> I try to watch most TV oh, shows in original tone. That's much of how I learned what English. Are we so, they yeah. All were. Madam Romansky, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him there, it would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my boy. Okay. Oh, aren't you going a bit... Oh, you are the sweet... I'm skipping this a bit. I need to see if I can figure out what I'm doing. Look, please, you absolutely have to come with me to Comicalsgrad. It's the only way I'm going to get my train back and be able to carry on my journey. <laughs> and don't worry, Matt. Both sister and plane have right. been putting up with me butchering the that bu their beautiful language. Locomotive with this automaton engineer. He isn't a million light years away from your James. It's quite worrying that most mm, most of the things I can do is I can I am swear in most in most different languages. You have a twin brother, how delightful! And I thought I was the only person alive able to put up with such a peculiar butler. Permit me to express my surprise, madam. Surely the fact that I remain in your service guarantees my uniqueness. Oscar isn't my butler, though. He has a great independence of thought. Sometimes he does whatever suits him. Just like you, James. Isn't that funny? Madam, we'll not be surprised to hear that she is strongly advised not to undertake a journey that, unless I am very much mistaken, will tire her needlessly. James, only one of us will make that decision, and that person is me. I'm very curious to meet your automaton, my dear. Where is it? He had to stay with the train in Komkalsgrad. The director used his hands for the final touches on his pianist. It's the same pianist that will accompany you when you sing. How quaint. Oh, come on. Another Please come with us. And this one can he even play along with me? Play for me? Ah, oh, why does my voice abandon me so now? Can I do anything else then? Come on, come on, come on. So, uh, third best Welsh Welsh word, sister after which and booty. I, I apologise if I um I butchered that as well. And cats, yeah, my little flu. You must have had a fantastic life. So exhilarating. We abandoned them over the weekend. We went camping and, imagine. yes, we had to abandon them. I used to sing the finest melodies of the moment in the most fantastic theatres around the world. Welsh I have been hailed by kings and courted Welsh by princes. <laughs> Grown men would sink to their knees when they heard the first notes of I don't know how it's spelled, but the wor best word in the Welsh crystal glass is the Welsh word for hearts, microwave. Many hearts. I'm not surprised. Then one day sickness steals away the gift life has given you. So I, I, I mean, I apologise. I will apologise if this if this comes across as insulting to the Welsh. But I do think the Welsh language was created up by somebody who was losing at Scrabble. 
I was literally just had loads of loads of tiles left over and just went that's a word <laughs> hell <laughs> there longer but you look so healthy to me oh thank you my dear <laughs> you mean pop typing can i get her to come now i don't know I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment. <laughs> I'm good at thank you very much. Director of the Conkals Grad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. Madame Roman. Okay. Sing? Oh. Oh. oh, you are the sweetest chip. Madame Romansky, please understand. I understand, my dear, but my health is fading. Look, please, you absolutely have to... Your train? That's right. <laughs> Permit me to... Okay, so Oscar, we've had this, conversa we've had this conversation. James, he said something about a voice. Can I, can I sort this out now? I'll let okay. you get a bit of rest. Thank you for listening. It was a real pleasure, my child. You are a charming young lady, and simply talking to you has warmed my soul. Can I, can I now interact with this thing under here and can I get a, make her get a drink? No point away. No point. Oh, right, okay. Can I interact with the no bottle? Point away. No point away. Do now. Not gonna... I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Boy, am I getting tired of saying this. Mighty Pirate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Plena, thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the crew. If you haven't already noticed, a lot of my stuff is um, Monkey Island related. <laughs> Okay, so I know I need to get I need to get the um, her to to come back with me potentially, or I need to get the train here, but I can't get the train here. We just pulled Plater into the adventure gang. I'd I'd like to, I I do love the fact that adventure games have still got such a huge following. In fact, I was looking at a um, a couple of sort of adventure type games earlier on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can purchase a handful more. I was looking at something here. So I'm going to work on the assumption there's nothing out. I don't think there's anything else on the pier. I think that's a dead end. Do something with the hot tub, but why can't I do something with it? I can't see anything there which would work with the hot tub. The only thing I can, the only other thing I can interact with is the hot tub over here. I'm gonna check if it's Hello. Oh, hello. Right, okay. Ah, crystal dish, okay. Collecting the coolest people on Twitch and form a cool community with adventure games and dodos and alpacas. <laughs> You'll be able to open up a zoo at one point. Do you, Lena? Do you, do you stream as well? Are you a are you a streamer? We just need a partnered streamer now to create a stream team for us. Ah. Unfortunately, I am such a long way off that, so I'm going to be in no use in that in that regard. No point away. No point away. I don't need to use this console. 
It's a real honor to meet you, Madam Romance. You're getting you're getting People into it and love so it. Oh, that's you. great. Like, mm. let, me, let me do you shout out then. Oh dear. Of course. Oh, so I also get to get a clip, a clip of you. How you were one of the greatest singers. Uh, I've heard this conversation before. I'll Please. let you get a bit of eat what. And you were playing Siberia. No one lied to me then. We're gonna get a stream clip. Oh, I must have no clips. We need to uh, everybody on on um, Plainer's stream, clip away. And get some clips going. We need some more clips of of Plainer. Can't interact with those then. Ah. <sighs> We already told her. Yeah, we need to. Well, it's, it's up to everyone else. Everyone else needs to clip her stream. Need to get in a stream, and um, and um, get some clips going. Um, Plena, if you can actually anybody who's watching who wants to um get shouted out on my stream, please. Um, oh no, that was, that's not what I wanted to type. I can't spell. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Join my Discord. If you log in, if you sign into my Discord, let me know. I will add you to my streamers list, so you get shouted out automatically on my stream. If you, if that's what you want me to do, no problem. Um, and also, also nudge me to give you a follow, um, and I'll try and drop in one of your streams in the future. Do you stream in German? Because that's going to be quite funny. Um, me trying to pick out the odd word here and there. Um, I said I do know a few German words. Um. None of which are probably um, suitable for children. Streaming German. That's fine. I can, I can, I'll, I'll give it a go for a laugh. I wonder how that. I wonder how. That... Work. I wonder how I suspect there's nothing else up here. Yeah, I, I think you should do that, Plena. Yeah, Brit's learning German with Plena. You managed to log into the CS Discord um, account. Can you that server? I think CS, you, the CS one's already part of it. I'm sure you are. I, I'm sure you're already part of it. I, I thought you were. To be fair, I'd actually quite like to try and learn another language. Okay, the language I want, the language I want to learn, um, which has pretty much no purpose whatsoever for to most people, is I want to learn Greek, and the reason I want to learn Greek is because the, the wife and I, we got married in Greece, um, and I just think it'd be nice to have that sort of um, sort of thing, kind of thing. Um, so we, 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 we do travel to Greece here, here and there, so I think it'd be nice to go and actually be able to speak Greek. That's, that's the language I want to learn, for no other reason than I think it's be a nice sort of touch. The Plina and Zazu together teaching is German, that'll be fun. But they've got to start, they've got to start with um, rude words first, otherwise it's no fun. Oh, I love the I love the I love the anomaly. You can see there, there's a bell, and no bell. Bell. No bell. You want to learn Danish? Um. Yes, we got we got 
we got married um well it wasn't it was a, it was a vacation on the basis that we got married abroad and we planned to get married abroad so whether you class it as a vacation or not i don't know um we did it obviously was a hol holiday stroke um honeymoon so we had kind of like all of it in one go and then we sort of did our sort of honeymoon honeymoon a couple of years later um with a tour around america that was sort of our proper proper honeymoon and you'd like to learn russian speaking is okay clean and the writing is the problem Yeah, it's writing in Russian. It's like spe speaking Japanese and writing in Japanese. Yeah, that they're completely different beasts, aren't they? I know several people who say that who can speak, um, who can speak Japanese, they can't. They can't read it, so they're completely useless when you go away. No idea what's going. Right, I'm gonna I'm going to try and see whether I need to go back to the, the airship and do something with the airship. I don't know. If not, then at least I will establish the fact that um it's something here that I need to do. not even coming up with the option to re interact with that so I can't get the f I can't get back out of here so got it's got to be something around here um let's go and talk to rude dude on the desk and see if he can hello rude dude Kathy can speak Russian and is teaching me sentences from time to time, but writing no chance. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? See if I can so get him to help. Think Madame Romanski will never sing again? I don't think so, no. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, Jose. Hey, your siblings, say, seriously? Oh my god. That is the nicest thing in the world. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. Oh my god, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Give me emotional, man. Oh, thank you, darling. That's such a so nice of you. Unfortunately, I've got nothing on my stream to actually sort of show you that you've done that. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much for the donation. That's amazingly nice of you. Oh, um, so the, the bits I give you are very, very small in comparison. Um, so yeah, that 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 that's over above and beyond that. Is, so thank you very much for that. It's awesome of you. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you? You've, sad? Made, you've made me feel really Why cool. So let's let's, let's we'll, we'll have we'll have one of these. The greatest of the great. Now I got time. <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you very much again much love much love guys thank you very much it's very kind of you <laughs> oh that's that really got me that i've completely lost track of where i'm what i'm doing now <laughs> so you're you're leaning german <laughs> english <laughs> What the hell am I to do? It's a real shame that there aren't any guests. We had our okay, so that's Didn't not going to be anything. Why should it? Once upon. A yeah, there's one thing. One thing I'll say about smaller, smaller streamers. I think over some of the bigger streamers, is that I find that commun the communities grow um, and they sort of grow together. So, you know, 
you've got your little community that I like being a part of and I love the fact that you guys are now part of my community and I've got other community people that come in as well and it's you know you sort of grow as a family and you sort of grow together and I think I like I like that sort of that sort of aspect of stuff so yeah as we fair um communities like you know like you guys and things like that I've got, got me through um the last what 18 months we've had with covid because without that i don't think i'd have had any any real any real interaction um this is the reason i started streaming last summer um was because i kind of felt a bit lonely like you know i hadn't really got any outlet for anything i was just literally don't get me wrong my wife is the most wonderful woman in the world and she gives me loads of support and she's always there for me um but sometimes you just sometimes you just need to you know have another forum to kind of just talk to people and sort of express yourself and a way to sort of exp you know get away from the normal life um you know gaming's one of those things it's, just, it's an escape it's a way of kind of getting yourself out there and um you know getting to a different world as, as such um and interacting with new people and then obviously with streaming you also get to meet fantastic people like you guys so you know right so you think madam romansky will never sing again I don't you totally so. get that as well, okay, our siblings, yeah. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, Jose. <sighs> okay. I'm leaving now, Mr. Felix. See you again, Miss Walker. What the hell am I going to do? says she's leaving i don't think she means she's leaving leaving i don't know pull the curtains again i don't think it's the right way when she says she's leaving i think she means more she's leaving um the room and leaving the conversation yeah she's not nice. um because the only thing I can think of is that um, Hel Helena mentioned her voice. Um, she mentioned that you know she hasn't got the voice anymore. I'm thinking, is there a way of me sort of helping that aspect of things? Um, I don't need to use this. I don't need to use No point way No point Okay, so that's not that then. No point way No point There's only no point in weighing yourself down. Give these to Helena. It's a real honor to meet you, man. I know, yeah. People still talk about me. I used to. Oh, uh, I used to start streaming a short while of ago, course. but I already met really Everyone cool people. I had such a cool conversation. Were. It's amazing. You were one of the yeah, exactly. Of the century. I actually find ah, that the majority so of was, people in the kind of Twitch, Twitch world, <laughs> you know, the Twitch sure communities and stuff. I think a lot of people are so nice. Past, I'm. I think I've only ever seen, been on one stream. Excuse me. Um, where we had somebody who um, was toxic. They attract people on Twitch, and they're they're amazing people on Twitch. It's who you attract? Yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, I was, I've only I've only really seen one toxic person in a stream. Um, it was just so bizarre. Um, I'll, I'll shout I'll shout I'll shout out the streamer because he, he um, Joe deserves a, a shout out as well. Um, um, if Patty was on last night, for the five minutes, what is that? Is that a leaf man? To what happened to Joe oh, in this clip, Mr. Leaf Man? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks. <laughs> he looks comfortable. Yes. 
Um, but yeah, who we were just watching one of his streams. Um, and this person came in and basically was sort of like, um, we were playing a bad game. And granted, it, was, it wasn't a great game. At the end of it, we said it wasn't a great game. But he wanted to play it and he was playing it. The guy was sort of like, why are you, why are you um, playing this game? Um, and then people in chat were chatting, you know, which is, you know, that's what people do. You come, you want people to come in and be part of your community, be part of your, your stream by chatting away. And this person was sort of like start, sort of saying to everybody, stop chatting. I want to talk to the streamer. And it was like, but it's not just about you. Anyway, he, the, the person got kind of a bit of aggressive um, and was kind of getting a bit kind of in Joe's face. So they ended up timing them out for a while. Didn't ban them, time them out. Came back, started being having a go about the fact they'd been timed out and, you know, was told categorically, you know, um, you just be just being a bit out there, so just kind of pull it back a bit. Be welcome in the stream. Um, so they carried on. So they ended up getting banned, and then the abuse that they sent all the mods. They actually they went out of their way to find the mods and abuse the mods. And you just think, why? What is the purpose of doing that? I just I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Um, let's have a look. Sorry, where um. So as you said, oh, I'm losing completely losing the track of the chat here. Um, we often just visit small streamers who are playing adventure games and found people like you guys. Is that one of? Okay, so we saw a lot of creepy people modding for Felicia and some other big streamers. So they are out there. Yeah, just but just ban them and go ahead. And <laughs> what am I pet? Yeah. It was it was one of those things. I mean, to be fair, obviously they were banned from the stream. They got banned from the stream. And for a little while, um, it was kind of like a, in, a running joke, you know, kind of like how, how this streamer was. We kind of joked about it to kind of make light in the load. But then the abuse got so bad towards the um, towards the mods that it was basically discussed on stream to basically say, look, we don't want to mention it. We don't want to bring it up anymore. We want to basically just bury this thing because it's not funny. The, the abuse now has not turned what was a you know, a bit of a bad situation that became a joke. It's just gone beyond the joke now. Um, yeah, and it's terrible. We're getting this a lot of mods, a lot of mods. I just don't, I don't get it. Honestly, I don't, I don't get why people go online. Um, do that. But then again, I don't get, I don't understand um, why people do things. Um, I saw, I saw a, um, do you guys remember things like happy slapping when people used to do things called happy slapping um and then you had like people being dressed as killer clowns and sort of like going up to people you know scaring people in the street because they found it you know they found it amusing um i, I never understood that i just don't understand at what point that they think that's acceptable and funny you know people got injured and scared from all those sort of things and it's just like i don't get I don't get it why these you know people decide that they this is what they want to do with their time but anyway each their own i guess each their own what well, i haven't spoken about hands i'm just gonna i'm just i'm just gonna ask about hands but i haven't spoken anything else turned up here too you know hans Vorarlberg? here we go not exactly i'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance case but i've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail and i guess he's kind of a close friend now you knew him didn't you oh yes i knew hans wallerberg do you hear james oh, if you had had the chance to meet hans my hans oh my god what has become of him where is he as questions go madam that one is not without certain complications i'm sorry but i have no idea that's the goal of my mission to find Hans Varlberg. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as possible and to get out of Comkalsgrad. And he, he is distracting you again. Without the train? <laughs> the train is one yes, of his first inventions. <laughs> I get so swept Oscar, away in some direction where I'm not paying attention to what's going on in the game. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have dreamed so long of meeting my dearest sweetheart again oh if only i could sing if only oh, 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 oh. 
I would ask George for that miracle cocktail. Yes. The one that only I need to, he I need to, to call. I need to, I, can, I need to speak to George. Yes, madam. As you have frequently said, okay. without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. I know what I need to do now. I need to find, need to find George and I get the cocktail. It was cold and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, <laughs> I had lost my voice. It drove me completely I'm not going to be mean. I'm not going to be mean. I don't know how George... Finally, we're talking booze now. Hotel ...heard about my affliction, but he brought me up a cocktail that he had invented. A strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. That's amazing. That's just what we need. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Ah, oh, my dear child. It is impossible. George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get George to tell me. He hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. Um, you guys might not be aware. There are things you can, um, other things you can do in stream. Um, you've got my items. Um, so you've probably got quite a few, um, quite a few points now. Um, so you could possibly redeem some of these. Um, you can see what they all are if you fancy doing that. Um, other things that I might have in my stream. Um, I'm not sure if blurps are working. They might be. So you could possibly do some blurps if you want to. We should add some sounds into my stream. And you've also got my channel point things. If you want to use the channel, my piece, pieces of eight towards some channel point things. But yeah, just um, gives you other ways to interact with the stream if you, if you fancy it. Right then. So I need to figure out George. Um... Madam Romansky, please. I understand. I'll let you get a bit of rest. It was a real pleasure, my. So. I don't think where where I can how who can get me in contact and with George really. Hello, Hotel Moritz. The reception here. Can I help you? I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. I'll connect you with the bar. Just a moment. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's like lift music. Hello, hotel bar? Hi. I'd like to talk to George, please. George? You mean Mr. George? Uh, yeah. Probably. Uh, he must have been a barman at the Moritz in the 50s. Well, don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was it about? I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know. That's a great adventure named George. Yep, definitely, definitely. Death. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see old George? Now, he knew a lot of cocktails. One hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. He did write down his recipes before he left, but if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly? Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah, the Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, Boco Poco, Blue Helena, Red Blue Helena. Rambo. Helena, yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say. Let's see. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. Shake it all together and Bob's your Right, so we've got vodka. Perfect. Blue Caracal. Thank you very much, sir. You have been I'm most there, helpful there. to me. I'll, I'll I'll redeem this one because if I know you, everyone's a, um, a broken sword fan, so let's try this one. Look, this pizza's been paid for. You might as well take it. I told you, I don't like pizza. Not even with extra olives. I hate them. Olives are the devil's butt nuggets. <laughs> it still makes me chuckle. Bob's your uncle. English is a funny language. Yeah, to be fair, it is a it is a strange language, right? So, um, God knows. I wonder how that worked. Last somewhere, what? I wonder how that. 
I wonder how. I wonder how. Okay. I wonder how. I don't know. I wonder how that works. Ah, so there's a lemon, right? Okay, so I need to I need to pick these bits up that I'm assuming though. A bird. Okay. That's honey. Right. Okay. So I'm going to work on the assumption that the honey goes. There. No. Nope. Okay, that's honey. That's where the lemon goes. Hell. Um. Schnapps! Sister, have you ever made a blue helmet in real life? Did not. Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe we should all try. Maybe we should all try. Did, did everyone? Did anyone write down the the ingredients and write it? And you know, we could write. We could write it. We could. Oh, maybe I could. Maybe I could have um, add kind of cocktail. Add a cocktails idea um, to um, the Discord. <laughs> the maybe we should do a stream mixing cocktails from adventure games. Is there that many though? Is there that many from games cocktails? Right, okay, so... I wonder how that works. I wonder how that works. Okay, I don't... I have no freaking idea. I wonder how that works. That's I ice, I'm that... assuming. I wonder how that... I wonder how... That's a musical st score. I don't get it. Vodka and st I need vodka and blue caracal. I wonder how that. I wonder. How I wonder. How Oh, hang about. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so that would be the fifth note. Looking at that right, it's what the seven, no, the seven notes. Seven notes. So that would be white wine, red wine, champagne, creme de menthe, blue caracal be fifth, then port tequila. And then, yes, okay, right, okay. So I need the fifth. Fifth one. That I one. wonder how that. Sing something. Is it the correct order? I wonder how that. I wonder how. This has got to go somewhere. I wonder how. That seems to be turned on. I wonder how. I so that's that was that one. Assuming that's that one then. Um and that would then be for vodka would be sec the second to last one, so it should be need and then probably the wrong order. Doesn't 
Ah, crystallised honey. That's cold then. That need, does that need heating up? Is that why that's not working? Crystallised. Don't know. I will give it a go though. Oh! It's not going to do anything, is it? Doesn't look like that works. Because no, it's not hot. I thought you'd drop it in and then just do this, right? Okay, no problem. We'll do plan B. You bet you can find a few, then Skype group call and everyone faces when they try them. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Let's do it on Discord. Set up a Discord um, and everyone can do it in the Discord. Adventure games, learning languages, mixing suspicious drinks. The list is getting longer. Let me get the scribbles, Polina. So many scribbles. Let's pick up your scribbles and channel, Polina. It's one hell of a heck of a way to make. Yeah, I agree. Hope you're taking notes for when you do your stream. You see, we have to. We have to get crystallized honey, and then we're going to have to do um, do this to kind of sort of separate it. I agree. Welcome, welcome. Liquid honey, there we go. Hope you're doing well, Green. Hello, big boy. Hey, Green. <laughs> I wonder how that works. That's not on, then it's that one. Now I can mix the honey in, hopefully. I think that's ready, isn't it? Blue caracal, vodka, lime, honey, ice. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's try, let's try. <laughs> A three-headed bot. Oh, <laughs> I love about you shouting. Like you shouting at my bot. Where did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? It's a a, a blue Helena. That is impossible. The blue Helena had a color that was like um, and an aroma like um, you understand. Its texture was not quite so. Um, one thing is for certain. This is no Blue Helena. Make an effort, my child. Right. I guess I'll try out another mix. Right, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm going to have to make a call then, aren't I? Because I'm not going to be written down, am I? <sighs> call the guy again. Uh, no, no. Well, that told Kate. In Lomont. Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Mr. Marson's in a meeting right now and doesn't want to be disturbed. Yeah, I don't want to call him anyway. So I can get hold of this guy again. I got the order wrong. I think I had to put it in a certain order. Hi, it's me again. Why, sure. One measure of vodka, vodka, one measure of vodka, blue caracal, honey, one of honey, lime, ice cubes. ice cubes, and shake. Vodka, God. blue caracal. I think I've got it. So it would be um, vodka first. So yeah, I'm on the right side. So it would be vodka first, so it would be this one. Um, and it was the second to last one. I'm sure it was. It should be vodka. <laughs> then it was blue caracal. Definitely hasn't restarted. Um, it's the fifth one. This is of course if we're doing it, it's doing the wrong way. But anyway, we'll try it. Then, 
Funny. How are those? Li was it lime or ice? No, oh, lime and then ice. And ice, then shake. We'll soon find out. Ooh. Did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? It's a. Uh, uh, thank thank you very much for being in the stream, Plina. Thank you very much. Was like um, a, and an aroma like um, you understand. Its texture was not quite so. Um, one thing is for certain: this is no blue. Hello. Make an effort, revoir. my child. Right. I guess I'll try out another mix. Ding -dong -dong. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use chat for a minute because I need to, I'm gonna write these down so I can get the order the order right because it's obviously the wrong order. Hi, I'm sure it was vodka. Me again. Uh, could you give me that blue Helena recipe again, please? Why sure. One measure of vodka, one blue. measure of blue carasso, one measure honey. of honey, a dash of lime, lime. and shake. I'm sure that was I'm sure that was the order. I'm sure that was the order. So it was vodka. I see. I, I'm less. I'm less. I'm getting the wrong things here. I'm assuming that's what that's it. That is. It's like left and right because I can't. I can't manipulate any other way. Less. I'm getting it doing it the wrong way around or something. Yeah. I figure. I figure that must be right. Unless it's the other way round. Maybe it's left. Maybe it's bottom to top. So that would make... Vodka would be... Vodka would be that one. If that's going to work, it looks... Definitely likes doing that. Maybe Helena is just being stubborn. Yep, definitely. And why do bananas have to put on sunscreen before they go to the beach? Because they might peel. Okay, so that was that. Um, so then it was... Ducarapal, which I think we said was the fifth. It's difficult to tell because you can't really see. Then it was honey. Then lime. We're out of lime in a minute. Then ice. Shake. She's going to say the same thing again. I guarantee she will. Okay, I'm obviously doing something wrong, so I'm going to guess on the basis that I'm pushing the wrong keys here. If that's going to Okay, does that mean that I've got to get... Do I need Do I need to push the, the number of them to get the right one? Hmm... 
I'm, I'm going to get I'm going to get this drink out because I definitely think the drink's wrong, and then we'll we all redig it. Unless I need to put the vodka, so maybe the vodka's not there. Like, I need to put the vodka in. There we go, that's the problem. Didn't have the vodka in it. Right, okay, so let's go back with the original thing. So vodka was second to last, and that's fifth. So get the right order. So it was definitely vodka. It was blue curry. Hmm? Let me do a cow impression. Five. Then it was honey. Oops. Then lime. Then ice. And then shake. Shake it off. Come on. Let's get this, guys. Let's get this done. No. Oh, my God. It's a, a, a blue Helena. That is impossible. The, right. I'm sure that's how you did it. I said it could be that they're the other way they're the other way round, so it would be second key. Oh, I've just done the wrong way around because that's not the right one, is it? No, it would be, but because that one. And then blue caracal would be that one. Third one up. I'm going to run out of all this shit in a minute. Let's add some milk. Come on, Helena. Enjoy one of these drinks. That of alcohol I've missed up here. Oh, she's drinking it! She's drinking it! <laughs> and we'll be too drunk by the time a real My drink voice. arrives. Oh, there we go. My God. Victory is mine. Is atrocious. Horrific. It was too good to be true. George's blue Helena is powerless. Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a snivelling little creep. <laughs> but no sugarcoating it. No sugarcoating it. Um. That is well. The blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. I tell you, you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by oh, breaking crystal tableware and decorations. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that now. 
The blue Helena really does have... I am not convinced. If my vo I tell you you're wrong. My dear, how... I remember it. Ah, those were... Okay, so what can I do with this then? Some down somewhere, aren't she? Lost it. My voice. What have I done? My Yay. voice has returned. Did Yay, you hear cat. That, James? My voice. We got it sorted, didn't we, darling? Yeah, returned. well done, you. Your voice is still as Hello. magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget your nurse spring chicken leaves. Yeah, she's saying this is very talented. Yeah, she's got a good voice. Soul. Very strong. And you are not the toy boy. Even my cat thinks so, either, don't you, James? darling? I hope yeah. you'll have fun on your own. I'm not going to give you any more food today. You're going to get in a habit of coming in here trying to get food off of me. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Mao to you two. You must prepare my return. Mao. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? I had no idea what the conversation just said. And what was? That's just me be nice to my pussy cat. I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me when you're ready. James, take me to my room. I must prepare. She's defying gravity in that one. Quick, quick! What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this? What have you got in your tail? Shut up, James. Wait, and come here. What have you got in your tail? It. That's eating me, not your tail. I want the other end of you. I don't. But... Something in your tail, darling. <sighs> right, so now what? Meow, meow. I am an augmented reality artificial intelligent cat. <laughs> Is that right? Hey. So does that mean does that mean I can leave now? Or not leave now? I kind of missed the conversation. I'm sure there were some really interesting bits being said there, but I didn't get any of it. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that romance key chick? I don't know who Olivia is. Cat I'm wondering if all. she's sort of the friend that the seems to have a thing for her boyfriend. That, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question. That's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I, I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. I hit on Dan. Dan! What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am weak. You're going to hate me for the rest of your life. And you'd be right in your situation. I... What? She did something nasty with Dan. After the Goldberg, Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap and then, okay, just get on with it. Me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the odds for Dan for ages because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but. But then we got so close lately, and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I... He doesn't want to die. She wants. She basically wants vindication. She wants you to let her off the hook. Look, don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I, I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? Kate, please. 
I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own. Yeah, I don't think that's necessarily a thing for a phone call, was it, particularly, but... What are you doing under there, Bona? I don't get what the thing behind him is. It's got like two little random shadows behind him. I don't know what they are. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. We are off. Green, how many how many pieces of eight have you got left? You must have thousands of pieces of eight left. Can we get our hands back? Come on. That's a really strange thing to say. Can we get our hands back? Can we get our hands back? <laughs> I want my hands back. Her voice is one one it's strong but it seems it it, it it don't take this the wrong way it, it it does have age to it it has a maturity to it that's what makes sense to anybody Creepy though. Don't get me wrong. This is a great, great performance, but he looks proper creep behind Kate going. Mm. Oh God! What's happening? Is she going to get crushed? A cage. What? <sighs> um, right. The proper creepy dude has now trapped her in a cage. It would appear. Okay, creepy dude. And we've basically we facilitated this. She did not wonder why there are only two people. Obviously not. Creepy git. Right, okay. So I'm gonna have to go and speak to Helena, I think, to see if I can get her out of there. But well, we already found out that, that he is a creepy dude. Yep. What a weird fucking guy. Dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romanski. You can trust me. 
There's a padlock. Can I just break the padlock? Key. So I need a key. Um. This lock look. Oh, that's not on to one. I mean, how easy to break the lock with the bolt curves? Now hurry, get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Yeah, she's getting out there really quickly. If that's going to work. Uh, screwdriver. Okay. Oh, my, my God! What has happened now? Aha! My try, Miss Walker, but you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me. Madame Romansky back, or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. Well, yeah, the there was the air venting section, wasn't there? So. Proper we'll fanboy, yep. Yeah. I warned you, Kate Walker. I warned you. Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. Yeah, because the, there was the air venty thing. I don't need to do that. Down the other end, I think. Can this be just as simple as going through the air vent? Are you sure it's going to be? Well, that noise was. We blew that up. Okay, that's I, what I'm not going to lie and say I'm surprised because I'm most certainly not. I, was, I thought I had to go out this way, so that's not necessarily a surprise. There we go then. Back on the train and get the hell out of here, I guess. Hopefully, Oscar's not going to be a, a, a nuisance and say, Hey, Walker, you have not got a ticket. Best not. I will. I, I will rip him to pieces if he does that. Uh oh, here comes this thing. He's been pl playing this, isn't he? No, you slept with Think okay, Olivia. Yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Hey, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. No, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. Finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning hey, oh, he's not going to tell her that he's um, done the dirty. Okay. Nothing new. I see. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. 
Nothing to say? So sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. It, it happened so quickly. Yeah, well played, Kate. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to give you. I'm going to crush your balls in a vice. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere in all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. No, she's now an adventurer. Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back if you want. Oh, no, really. I don't Dan. We'll see. What, can we... Let's get... Can we get the fudge out of here, please? Um... Do I need to put anything in here to get the train moving? That would be everything I need to do. What Maybe not. What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. Okay, that is right. a bit of a concern. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I'm going to have to do something you know, off the train, aren't I? Yeah, and the music, I do think the music is good in this game. To be fair, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit surprised I've never played this before, because I've been so impressed with lots of it so far. I thought um, the voice acting strong, the music strong. I have turned the music down a bit. Have I turned the music down too much so you can't hear it now? That's going to work. It looks like something's missing. I guess I've got to be go back inside. No need to go down there. Um, right then. How do I get up to? Might maybe. Yep. I'm gonna, bright, I'm gonna bust an automaton here. We're going down, automaton. You're going down. Leg it. Let's get the hell out of here. Message received. Full steam ahead. Hey, go kaboom. Somehow the train managed to get through without causing any damage to itself, but hey. We're off, everybody. We are off.
We're going to go back to our old bad. Drop off um, Helena. Rejig the train. And hopefully move on a bit further. Okay, so, so far, it's no good in that regard. Then. Right, um... Um, do I actually need to go and see Helena, or can I just pick the train? Hi, Oscar. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. Get a life, Oscar. Oscar, can we get going now? Really, Kate Walker? First, we have to wind up the train's mechanism. Of course, of course. we do. What was I thinking of? Right away, I'm on the case. Oscar, the wind has dropped. Maybe you can come with me. Kate Walker, a high precision mechanism like myself has a built in aversion. I'll throw a married couple of these two, aren't they? Oscar, I'm sorry you missed Madame Romansky's performance. It was really something. I don't know. Emotion is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker, as well you know. Hmm. Sometimes I'm not so sure. I don't think I'll get anything about our bad or try. Last visit. The wind has dropped and it has started snowing a little. I was not fortunate enough to accompany you on your first visit, Kate Walker. You abandoned me to who knows what horrible What? I was helping you get your hands back. Oscar, do you know something? You're changing. You might not notice, but you are. Change is outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. I don't know. He's be, he, maybe he's the AI is a, is evolving. Next, you want to take over the world. Doesn't look like that works. Yeah, that's going to do its thing. I'm going to go and check see if I can find Helena and. Thank her for everything because she has helped us out. She was nice. I liked Helena. I'll go that way around the water fountain. Okay, water fountain's turned off. Or maybe because of the weather. She's gonna be. She's gonna be outside in the um. Over here, maybe. Where well, she is? I don't need to do that again. Let's see if she's out here. Hopefully. Hopefully, with James. Oh, it'd be nice if James is out here as well. Taking a turn around the gardens together. I've just noticed a second ship out in the, in the distance. She's not there. Okay, maybe, maybe we're not meant to see her again. Oh, hello. Um, why can't I get to the plane? I'm really worried that thing, thing's going to be here. They've flown here somehow. Creepy dude is going to have Helena again. Right, I'll explore. I'll explore the grounds just in case they're. Um they are inside somewhere, I just don't know where they are.
Also, there is a door in there. Just check the door. Lead anywhere. Oh, mm. half moon naked dudes. No. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Let's ask at the reception, maybe, and then go from there. Ooh, yeah, yeah. The longest football game in history, this is. Still the same game. It's gone on for th like 15 hours. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? Well, I'm gonna hit the. Or would it be too much to ask where you're... Who can say? Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. There's no way you could help me in my research. Once upon a time. Okay, so no then. Okay. See you again. I don't know who who's the um plainy thing is. That's confused me a wee bit. I'm just gonna check there's no airship. No, so the airship's not. Yeah, I don't know I don't know where they've gone, where James and um, Helena have gone, but hey, we will work on the assumption that everything's golden and we can get cracking, I guess. Yep. On the train then. Maybe we're gonna find Oskia again. We're um we're fully fully charged and going. I thought I'd have seen him on in the in the far ground, but yes. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Uh, give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Oh, wait, good. wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got the a bomb before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter. This is suspicious. I'm not going to like this. I think this is going to be something nasty from, um, from our not-so-friendly friend. Can you die in this game? Add one to the death counter. Have my package, please. Just why don't you just bring it to us? Wouldn't that be easier? Wouldn't that be more efficient? Mr. Felix, sir. Package? There's no way you could help me. Oh, on them. I've come to pick up my parcel. It's waiting for you there on the counter, miss. Why, thank you. I'm leaving now, Mr. See you again, Miss Walker. Everyone following the rules. Okay. It's a mammoth. What? Who? Who? What? Where? When? How? Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Oh. Uh, Mr. Martin, please, do try to understand. Tell him to sod off. What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to 
drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dinero. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. What an a-hole. No, it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old Greek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. She's res I think she respects him. I actually genuinely think she actually respects the dude. And I, 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 I like him. I respect him as well. Yeah, hang up on him. Turn to sod off. Get the phone, mate. Hello, reception here. Felix Masano at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madam Romanski would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. So, to the bar. Uh, what a great phrase. To the bar. As long as there's print, plenty of grog. Madam Romanski, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day, getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of Does anyone the know roughly how long I might have forever. left of this? And then one day the bubble bursts. You know, have I got hours left or have I got like an forever. hour left? Madam Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long dark winter. Perhaps you should you say it's now. worth carrying on. Okay. I said I'll probably been, only go for about another hour. That's all. I think I can do about 11.30 UK time, but that's probably about as all I can do. What if I've got... I've got much more than an hour left, then I'll need, I'll need to finish up another day. Breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Varlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. Oh, the she's got a soft with the the hands. Has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. Okay. We're going heading outside then to the plane. Plane. Hello. Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how. Oh, wow, is this the, en is this the ending? Last. I'm Kate. Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. <laughs> I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker? Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That 
Wait. Siberia. Siberia. Um, I'm sorry. Mr. Vorlberg. I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilen. It's, um, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now. We're getting quite south now. I need your signature the end of to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away. On the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. Didn't need any time then, by the look of it. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... I've yep. completed my mission. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... That's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could... Yeah, as if you really knew you could I count, man. congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You get a rest, is she? You, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? <laughs> that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. Kate Walker? Oh, it's a yes, ditty bloke. Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... It's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane... It's going to New York too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Will we see Mr. Varlberg again? See you later, Mr. Varlberg. And the pilot is creepy dude. What are you doing? You're gonna go? You're going on the train? Oh, please say she makes the train in time. But Oscar's gonna get pissed. She hasn't got a ticket.
<laughs> Thanks, Green. Thank you for spoiling the moment. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad she went in the end. I'm glad, I'm glad she got on the train and um, followed. That great game really, really grew on me. I wasn't so sure at the beginning of it. Um, I mean, compared to some puzzle games, a lot of it I thought was actually very, very logical, very straightforward. It wasn't kind of... Unlike Monkey Island, which has some kind of very weird sort of puzzle aspects to it. Um, I thought that was a lot more... Um, oh hello, that's the end of it. Um, yeah, so unlike I, I thought that I thought that was kind of a lot. It was I was logical in most places. A few weird ones which got me stuck, but I I liked the sort of puzzle aspect. That was good. It was the narrative. The story sort of grew and kind of um, I kind of grew to like Kate Walker. It's weird. I thought she had a nice attitude. She was a you know she was a decent decent like lead. Um, and the sort of mystery of surrounding the Vorlbergs and stuff I thought was quite nice. So all in all, I thought it was really, really good. Um, it can get frustrating when getting stuck with puzzles, but the story really shines through. Yeah, I agree completely. Um, I do. I think. I think realistically, it's good. It's a stupid boss, stupid cheating boyfriend and friend. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, I. So you can disagree with me here, Zazu, but. Really, realistically, I think it was inevitably going to happen, and to some degree, the fact that they, those two cheated and what have you, probably made Kate's like um, decision at the end to go off on the adventure that bit easier, because she wasn't really leaving anything behind. That she she was doing it for herself. There was nothing, no one else to stop her. If Dan was sort of at home waiting, would she have maybe decided oh, I need to go back for Dan? But she was like, no, I've got, I've got no, no ties now. I can do my own thing. So it probably helped in the end. Probably did help in the end. Got loads of bonuses. I have no idea what the bonuses are, but oh, lots of um, pictures and stuff. Look at what we've got. Oh, some really cool artwork. Wow, look at that. I'm assuming these are concept art by the um, by the creators of the game. Is what I'm assuming. Call me, call me, uh, um. Call me stupid, but I'm assuming then that the developers are French. Assuming the developers are French. Is that does that say the idiot de village, as in like the village idiot? Momo's not a village idiot. We love Momo. We love Momo. That's how much we love my mum. Ooh, hello. Well, that's a sinister picture, isn't it? Some of the artwork's fantastic. Wow. I can't. I can't, I can't spend all day looking at all of these. I know, I know inevitably what's going to happen next. I was waiting for um, somebody to change it back. Um, I'm not going to decide what I'm playing next. Um, I'm, up, I'm up for a discussion. Um, so I'll ask you to go um, to my... I think I've got like a stream suggestion section on my Discord. Um, there's another link to the Discord. Um, if you want to go in there, we can start a discussion about what I want to play next. Um, um, yeah, because I, I'm, I'm in, and I'm now really torn about what I want to do. So yeah, we can open the discussion about what sort of things people fancy me doing and what I fancy doing. So we can go from there. Um, 
I haven't uploaded my last few videos, I need to do it, but I have got a YouTube channel, so if you want to catch up with some of my older streams, um, I have got my YouTube channel. I've got complete playthroughs of Broken Sword, Monkey Island, I think, is on there. Um, the Walking Dead, the complete series, is on there, um, and a handful of other games. Um, so yeah, if you want to catch up with some of my older stuff, you've also got my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to call it for tonight. Um, I'm just going to have a look and see if anybody is that I'm familiar with is streaming. A second to check that out. Um, what have we got? got somebody playing um, The Walking Dead Season 2. There's a possibility to go that way. Um, and then I'm just going to see if there's anyone else playing anything else I like. Unless anyone has got any other um, any suggestions of who to raid. And great seeing your reaction to the end of the game. Yeah, thanks, Cow Siblings. I, I've got to say, I'm not going to lie. I, I was nicely surprised um, with how much I, lo I like that. I really did. Um, no one's streaming that one. I said the game. The game I was a bit unsure of when I started. I'm really, I'm honestly not, you know, not trying to be, you know, a negative. I was a bit kind of like, oh, do I, do I fancy that? Do I not fancy that? Um, and then as time went, um, it really, really grew on me. But yeah, I was, I was pleasant. I was very pleasantly surprised. I was very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I can't see anyone else playing anything I fancy, so what I'm going to do um, is I'll raid uh, Skudo. That's playing the Walking Dead Series 2 at the moment. Hopefully I can spell, spell his name right. I think that's right. Raid, 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 raid. Um, I'd appreciate if you can um, hang on and join the raid. Um, that should be the raid message if you want to copy that. Um, yes, have a great night yourself as well, Chaos siblings. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you again for the donation. That was beyond, you know, beyond kind. I, I, yeah, that really touched me. I really did. So thank you so so much for that. I will hopefully catch up um, with your stream later in this on this week. Um, sorry if I've not caught the last few. Like I, said, I was away for the weekend. So I think you had one when I was away, and I kind of couldn't really join. Uh, because in the middle of the field but you know hopefully you let me off but anyway thank you very much everybody i will catch up with you really really soon um and yeah thursday's meant to be my next streaming day so fingers crossed but i'll quickly get in the discord we can open a discussion about what i'm playing next all right thanks very much guys and i'll see you really really soon